Hi, I'm Frank Pizzicillo, partner in Victory Sports Technologies. Congratulations on the purchase of your new Ernie. Today I'm going to take you from the unboxing to the court in no time. All you'll need to get started is a utility knife, a pair of scissors, or something to open the box. We recommend that you cut along the side first. Lift it on the side, then cut down the middle. As you open it up here, you have a cardboard insert, and then you'll have styrofoam that has some important pieces in it. We ask that you please don't throw anything out. It's very important, it's custom packaging. So, inside the styrofoam insert, you'll have your remote control and your agitator. We'll get to that later. In this little box will be the battery charger, very important. This is what's gonna charge Ernie up so you can play with it. Ernie will have plastic sheet on top to protect it from scratches, a little more styrofoam. Taking Ernie out of the box, get a good grasp on either side of Ernie, lift with your legs, not with your back. Take it out, put it down. There's Ernie. This is Ernie in travel mode which means the hopper is on top uh, and not in use mode. So take the hopper off, remove the other plastic, lift up the handle. Once you lift up the handle, you'll see there's an area here for the handle. It's very simple. Put it in, click it in place. There's Ernie. He's now in play mode. This is critical, this next part. When we ship Ernie, we put a safety noodle in each one to keep the yoke from moving. Before you turn it on, you have to remove this. It's red, it's on the left side of the machine, it's very easy. Please do not turn Ernie on before you take this out. From there, I'll show you the controls. Back of Ernie is very simple. There's literally one button. Okay, to test the yoke to make sure Ernie is working, what you're gonna to wanna to do is press the button to the part that says in. Once you do that, the green light should come on. You should hear the wheels turning. Everything's moving well, it's clean, you're good to go. So keep in mind, even though that Ernie turned on and the green light came on, Ernie's not fully charged. Charge it up for a few hours, maybe overnight for the first use. Make sure that battery is all set and ready to go. All right, let's go back to the little insert here that was in the styrofoam piece. So we're gonna take out the agitator. Now what the agitator is, is that's the piece that goes in the hopper that helps the balls um, get down into the chute. It makes sure that none of the balls get stuck and it looks like this. So to put the agitator on, you're gonna to wanna to take the hopper off, put it off to the side. You'll need the agitator, the Allen wrench that comes with it. Um, the little bag of screws here, this is extra. Uh, you don't need this right now. Uh, this is for if you ever need them in the future, you can put those off to the side. What you're gonna to wanna to do here is you're gonna see one side with a cover and one side without a cover. You're gonna to wanna to take the Allen wrench and remove the two screws that, are, that do not have a cover underneath them. And you'll see why in a minute. One. Two. Holes will line up, put the screws back in. Tighten them up. Hand tightening first is probably the easiest way to go. And then use the Allen wrench to tighten them up the rest of the way. There you go, the agitator's installed. You can put the hopper back on. And other than a full charge, Ernie's ready to go. 
Now we're gonna charge Ernie. So I'm gonna spin Ernie around so you can see what we're doing from the other side. Grab that box that had the adapter in it. There's two, there's two pieces in here. You can see the adapter end with the yellow tip. That's the part that's gonna go into the machine. And then you can see the box. This is where the adapter completes here for the plug. It's very simple. There you go, okay? Yellow part into the little part port there that says charge. And then you plug it in. From there, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little light there. If the light is green, red, or blinking, essentially if the light is doing anything, it is plugged in. Red means it needs more charge. Um, green means it's charged enough, although you still wanna probably charge it overnight for the first time, just to condition the battery, but that's how you charge Ernie. Just a quick note on the packaging, please keep everything. Uh, it's custom fit for Ernie, just in case you need to return it for any reason, uh, the packaging is critical. That includes the outer box, the noodle, uh, the styrofoam inserts. Please keep everything for the time being. It actually keep, it makes a great place to store Ernie when you're not using it as well. So Ernie runs off an app off of your phone, your iPhone or your Android. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your app store on your iPhone or your Android. You're gonna search for Ernie Pickleball. Ernie's E-R-N-E, -E, Pickleball, download the app. It, install the app, it will take, should take less than a minute. And once you have that app on your phone, you'll be ready to bring Ernie out on the court. Uh, other thing I wanna mention here is when you're moving Ernie or turning him, there's two wheels on the back and there's stoppers on the front, okay? So if you're ever looking to reposition Ernie, don't drag it because the stoppers will, you know, kind of pop along with the wheels. Just put your foot back here, tilt it, and there you go, reposition it wherever you want and the stoppers will keep it stable. In the styrofoam insert, you'll also see the remote control. This little white box here, it can't be any simpler. It says on, off. It actually has an antenna here. Um, you may not ever need to pull that antenna out, but if you need, if you're, if you're far away from Ernie, for whatever reason, you might need to pull it out. But basically what this does this enables you to turn the machine on or off while you're on the court. But you don't need to keep your phone in your pocket. Basically, you just keep this little, very light remote in your pocket. And when you want to pause the drill or stop it, you just click off. And if you want to restart it, you click on. So using the app and using Ernie. So what you're going to want to do after you've downloaded the app is you turn Ernie on. Again, if you're using battery, just click that button to the left. You'll hear it turn on you'll see the wheels moving. So you'll see here on the top left, it says disconnected, and next to it says device is not connected. Simply press that yellow box, it'll scan for an Ernie that's within range and that's on. It's connecting the device, and within a few seconds, you heard that beep, the app and your phone is now connected to Ernie. So now that you're connected to Ernie, I wanna show you a couple things with the yoke and the throwing wheels. Uh, please don't, Take a look at this. Uh, if you have any balls in the hopper, make sure the hopper's still empty, of course. Come on down and you can see in here that the throwing wheels are, are moving. Everything's working well, looks great. Um, as you click through the fix drill, you'll see the hopper move. Left to right, right to left. These are digital motors. Uh, this yoke will move at an eighth of a degree at a time. Please notice too, as Ernie is looking to throw a ball to the left or to the right and move, the whole machine is not moving. Only the inside, only the yoke is moving. Makes it much more efficient on the battery uh, and really helps with the wear and tear of the machine and the battery life. So that's it, Ernie's ready to go. Bring it out on the court. It's time to train, win, and repeat.